Are electric axles the right choice for heavy-duty trucks? Today we're breaking down the top use cases for electric drive axles, comparing them with traditional central drive systems, and showing where they really shine. When electrifying heavy-duty trucks, there are two main drivetrain options to consider, central drive systems and electric axles, also called e-axles. 1. Central Drive System Advantages and Limitations a central drive system positions the motor and transmission as a powertrain unit in the middle of the chassis, connected to the drive axle via a drive shaft, similar to the layout of traditional diesel trucks. This design offers high reliability and lower initial cost, as it uses many shared components such as drive shafts, axles, and suspension systems. These parts benefit from mature mass production, reducing overall cost. Additionally, the motor and transmission are mounted using a four-point suspension, minimizing vibration and impact damage. However, the system also has notable drawbacks. The central location of the powertrain limits underfloor battery installation, which is essential for achieving high-capacity battery configurations. The low level of component integration adds weight, reducing vehicle efficiency and complicating lightweight design. Furthermore, energy losses occur through the drive shaft and universal joints, resulting in lower transmission efficiency and higher energy consumption. 2. Electric Drive Axle, E-Axle, the compact and efficient solution. An electric axle for trucks integrates the motor and transmission into the axle itself, creating a compact, highly efficient system. This layout allows for optimized chassis space, enables large battery packs to be installed under the chassis, lowering the center of gravity and improving vehicle stability. Lightweight design. Reduced component count minimizes overall weight, which is critical for heavy-duty trucks. Higher energy efficiency. Direct power transfer significantly lowers energy losses, reducing electricity consumption. Despite these advantages, e-axles require a complete redesign and specialized tooling, leading to higher initial costs. Adoption rates remain relatively low, currently under 10% of electric heavy truck applications, but as demand grows, economies of scale are expected to bring prices down. Application Scenarios 1. Construction Transport, when e-axle may not be ideal. Examples 8x4 electric dump trucks, concrete mixers, and mining trucks. Construction environments often involve harsh road conditions, unpaved roads, gravel, and heavily rutted surfaces. Overloaded trucks can deepen ruts, increasing the risk of undercarriage contact. In these conditions, e-axles are less suitable. Motors and gearboxes integrated into the axle are vulnerable to damage from hard impacts, and since the axle assembly forms part of the unsprung mass, rough terrain can lead to higher vibration and shock loads on the chassis and cabin. For severe off-road environments, a central drive system is typically the better choice. 2. Resource Transport Electric axle for truck is a strong option. Examples. Transport of sand, gravel, coal, and ore. Operating conditions include loading yards with shallow potholes, along with highways and national routes. The risk of grounding is minimal compared to construction sites, making electric drive axles a viable choice. For 6x4 electric heavy trucks, the choice between a centralized drive and an electric axle largely depends on operational needs. If the primary application is resource transportation with routes under 220 km per charge and cost sensitivity is high while annual mileage is relatively low, with less concern for energy consumption, a centralized drive may be more suitable. However, for fleets with higher annual mileage and stricter energy efficiency requirements, an electric axle is the recommended option due to its superior efficiency and overall performance. Key specifications for e-axles and resource transport Ground clearance is greater than or equal to 260 mm steel housings for motors and gearboxes to improve impact resistance, multi-speed transmission, 3 to 4 gears, to handle steep grades, heavy loads, and varied driving conditions, PTO interface for installing hydraulic pumps, essential for tipper applications. 3. Express delivery and line haul freight, the ideal fit for electric axles. Many logistics companies are transitioning from diesel to electric heavy-duty trucks for routes under 400 kilometers to reduce operating costs. In this segment, vehicles often cover more than 250,000 kilometers annually, making energy efficiency a critical factor. Some fleets have successfully reduced energy consumption from 1.6 kWh per kilometer to as low as 1.3 kWh per kilometer. 
Highway operations make this the perfect scenario for electric drive axles. Recommended configurations include multi-motor strategy, two driven axles with three to four motors. At startup and during acceleration, additional motors provide extra torque. At cruising speed, only one or two motors operate for maximum efficiency. During downhill driving, regenerative braking through multiple motors can recover energy and provide up to 48% of maximum braking power, enhancing safety. Two-speed transmission, sufficient for highway driving, where steep gradients are not an issue. Lightweight design, aluminum alloy motor and gearbox housings for improved weight efficiency. Air suspension and wide medium pressure tires to reduce vibration and enhance ride comfort. Conclusion The electric axle is a cornerstone of heavy-duty truck electrification, offering major advantages in efficiency, weight reduction, and flexible vehicle layout. Although initial costs are currently higher than traditional systems, prices are expected to drop as adoption increases. From a total cost of ownership, TCO perspective, Fleets operating 150,000 kilometers or more per year can typically recover the cost difference within one to two years thanks to significant energy savings. As the industry continues to evolve, selecting the right drivetrain configuration based on actual operating conditions is essential for achieving maximum performance and cost effectiveness.